Hello Taurus! Happy Tuesday evening to you. I'm trying to knock off some of these Taurus requests. Please have patience with me. And Taurus. Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Taurus. I often think of you. I often think of you. Hmm. I need a little clarification for sure. I often think of you. And think of you, Taurus. I want to tell you how I feel. I hid who I really am from you. Taurus, who is this? I often think of you. I'm, I'm reading, I want to tell you how I feel, but I'm feeling I need to tell you. I need to tell you what's going on because I hid who I really am. Taurus, as intuitive as you are, I think you know more than they know you know. I see you as very sexy. Okay. Would you like to go and have some spaghetti? I'm afraid to contact you. Really? I hid who I am. I'm afraid to contact you. I want to be more than friends. Taurus, who is this? I'm not getting the impression that they're playing with you or, or with your emotions. I think that they're sincerely nervous. They're nervous to approach you. Hmm. Will you approach Taurus? Well, I, I'm a different person than when we when we met. I often think of you. I see you as very sexy. But I'm a different person than when we met. Because then I couldn't let you get close to me. When we first met, I couldn't let you get close to me. However, you speak to me through music. So this person, again, they, they see Taurus as, as someone with a huge personality, okay? Taurus, they see you as someone bigger than life. And you make them nervous. You make this person nervous. They get the sweaty palms, their mouth gets dry. You know, I'm feeling it right now, a little, little nervous thing going on here. But they have true affection for you if they were able to tell you. I think that they're afraid of being judged. They really want you to know that they're a different person than when you guys first met. then they couldn't let you get too close. Very interesting. This is a nice person. Um, and they're, they're gonna, they're gonna have a lot to say when they learn how to communicate with you. Let's take some tarot cards and try to figure this out a little bit. Just a little bit better. Taurus, who is this person? You guys come back here. Taurus, who is this person? That's how they see you. Taurus, who is this person? Okay. 
since this person's having such a difficult time speaking to Taurus, maybe we can clean some things from the cards. The star. Hopes, wishes, when you wish upon a star. This person's been through a lot. They feel rough around the edges, but they don't want you to judge them. It matters a lot to them that you don't judge them. I don't think you would. I don't think you would. But they would like to send you a little flirty message. They would like to send you a little, maybe a little love note. Because when they think of you, you make them happy. Knight of Cups, I love it. The Knight of Cups. They're gonna they're gonna bring you not just a message, but they're gonna follow through with, with something a little more solid. The Knight of Wands. A lot of knights. Fire energy. So yeah, a little more flirtation going on. I think that's what that's going to help a lot. When the two of you start flirting with each other, and a little giggling, a little laughing, a little tickle, a little little smoochy smoochy time, I think it's going to help a lot. Oh, can you believe this? In the middle of the reading, King of Cups. Come on now, this person's going to be your Romeo. And and the universe agrees. They wanna they wanna hand you the loving cup overflowing. Taurus, you know what you, you really deserve this too. You deserve someone to take care of you. Here's the page of cups. The little do you see the little fish next to that whispering the page of cups ear? Trying to give them mm, a little confidence. Maybe it's a friend of of the person. Taurus, this person is getting advice from like a grandpa or someone like a mentor. Someone is saying to, to this person who is infatuated with you, they're saying, oh, um, go get some chocolates, you know, take her out for some spaghetti dinner, you know, they're getting they're getting helpful information. It's really nice. It's I you know, I I like that. That's really nice. And they want you to see them as the King of Pentacles. They really don't want you to judge them from when when you first met them. They might have been going through a thing or two or twelve. So they're worried. They're worried. Maybe I'm sure that's affected their communication too. And it's going to take their strength. It's going to take their strength. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I hope this goes slow. I, I hope this goes slow. I know you're ready. I know you're ready for someone to, you know, um, just add water and shake. But this person has been up in their, up in their head having, like, worries, little nightmares, can't sleep at night hoping that they don't ruin this hoping that they don't ruin this that's really nice taurus that is good so I, I guess if i should say something i would say um when this person does you know appear with with some chocolates and you know, whoever is giving them a little romantic advice whatever their advice is um I don't think I have to give you any advice, Taurus. Just be your sweet self. Um, let them, let the two of you could go nice and slow. You know? Knight of Cups, does he look like he's in a rush? Does he look like he's in a rush? Nope. Taurus, well done. That was, that was the sweetest reading for a while. Please in, in, enjoy yourself and have a great evening. Okay.